Our city has an urban flooding problem. Due to climate change and upstream urbanization, when we have a heavy rain event, the city system is overwhelmed. Nick and Erica live near Shellburger Creek in Edmonds. During heavy downpours, the creek becomes a four foot deep raging torrent headed straight for their house. We interviewed Nick and Erica and learned that they suffer from both the physical impact and the emotional impact of constantly monitoring rainfall. Both the city and our friends try to keep up with the problem, but to no avail. We looked for plants or animals that already know how to deal with fast moving flood water and we found mangroves. Mangroves slow down water by splitting up the flow. Their above ground roots and branches create blockages and smaller paths for the water to go through. These complicated interlacing structures create a large amount of drag on the water. These structures reduce fast moving waves that hit the forest to a much lower energy ripple. We interviewed Dr. Michael Barber, a senior research scientist at the University of Washington, who helped us brainstorm and flesh out our ideas. We tested some mangrove designs on a closed system we created. After many different designs and orientations, we settled on one. Our design consists of three concrete roots upstream, three more slightly farther downstream, and then some smaller roots to guard the sharp corner that causes the majority of the flooding. Just upstream from Nick and Erica's house is the Edmonds watershed. During our on-site meeting with city stormwater engineer Pat Johnson, we walked the watershed and discussed the buildup of debris against our design, which we knew was a problem. Our discussion inspired the next phase of our design, where we decided to embrace the debris instead of getting rid of it. Beavers use sticks, mud, branches, and other forest debris to slow down the flow of water. In our design, sticks and other debris will build up and create the same effect, lessening the speed and amount of water flowing downstream toward Nick and Erica's house. Further, Mr. Johnson supported our idea of backing up flood water into the watershed. After finalizing our design, we met again with Dr. Mike Barber, who reviewed it for effectiveness. He gave us more information about velocity, flow, and fluid dynamics, and then we created our final design. We also interviewed Edmonds City Councilmember Laura Johnson, who helped us identify the political constraints around the streams and water flow in Edmonds. She also supported our idea of using the flood water reduction system as an art installation and tying it into our city's yearly art festival. We also followed up with the homeowners to make sure that this solved both their physical and emotional needs. When presented with our design, the city engineer said that not only was it plausible, it was actually doable. Look for the flood water reduction system in your city soon.